It's a short training exercise on how to set the limits on the new Secura Drive system. This is relevant to the garage doors, the Compact, XL, LT and Classic. Unlike the traditional motors that you're used to, this is what's called a progressive limit system where you have to twist the limits. Um, the system actually uses a, a spatula or, or a wand which is really useful and this comes with every single door that we supply. When we're setting the limits we also recommend using a test lead and the reason why we use this is to not go through the controller to actually go through a hold to run button system and the idea with this is if you're setting up once you let go of the button it stops instantly and this is to stop any damage to the door or any injury to yourself but it's really really important that we actually wire it up correctly there's a quick set plug on the end and it's really important that we ensure that the wires match up with the test lead. So for example, neutral to neutral, earth to earth, black and brown is your up and down, press a little tab, push them in and ensure there is a good connection with all the wires. Ensure that they all match up the last thing we want to do is get any shorts which could damage the motor. We're on a halter run system as I say, you press the button either way, once you let go it stops instantly. When we're looking at the axle, there should be a sticker on the axle if it's containing a spring. The sticker will have a number on it. Now depending on the size of the door this number may change. For instance this one has six turns on it. The motors are actually set in between their turns and there may be three or four turns either way. Using your test lead, we must drive the door in the down position. So follow the arrows, drive the door to the fully closed position. So keeping your finger on the test lead, count the amount of turns and wait till the motor stops. Generally you'll get four turns out of the, um, out of the motor. And what that basically means is if you've got four turns and it says six, we need to add on the extra two turns. So if you look at the end of the motor here, you'll see two big arrows. That is the direction of the motor, the direction of the axle, which way it's going to turn. And it's relevant to this particular pot. So as you can see on the inner side, there is a small plus or minus. And what we need to do is insert the wand and turn to the plus. Once we turn to the plus, we keep our finger on the test lead and gradually inch the axle forward. In this instance, we need to add on another two turns. We already have four turns on, that's five. And that is six. Bring the door back and just check that it has actually stopped on its down limit. Bring the door back slightly because we've now set our down limit but we need to attach our curtain to the axle. You need to ensure that the attachments are fully engaged, whether it's an LT, a classic, or indeed a compact. Attach them to the barrel using the, the pins and clips supplied. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fine tune the down limit. Bring the door back. Ensure that your attachments are all in place and inch forward. Now as you can see that it's slightly overrun. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our limit pot. Bring the door up a little bit and we're just going to minus it off one turn. Drive the door down and as you can see there we're pressing the down button and the limit is now on the motor. We probably need to fine tune it a little bit so by giving it a quarter of a turn to the plus now you can see that the door is secured. At this point here press the up button drive the door to the up position. However what we probably find is there's probably 10 turns on there now because you've got four in the up, four in the down, plus the extra two, which is 10 turns. Insert your wand into the back pot 
and then turn to the minus. Press the up button whilst turning to the minus. At some point, you should catch up with the up limit. At this point, if you've not reached the up limit, take your finger off the up button, send the door down to about halfway. Once you reach halfway, press the up button and start to minus off again. Because what we don't want is we don't want the limit shooting out the top of the guide. Repeat the process, bring it down halfway, press the up button and continue to minus off. And what you will find is we've now reached the up limit. So at this point now, I have my finger on the up button, the door's not moving, plus quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn. Bring the door down to halfway, test your upper limit, and ensure you have a full slat in the top of the guide. Send the door all the way down to the bottom, check your bottom limit, check your top limit, and then connect to your controller.